what's your name, sir? Ronald. And what's your car number? Five. Isn't it? Five, yes, sir. And you qualified. You will be starting in 21st on Saturday. Where? You're going to start 21st. Okay. For your, your qualifications. So, Ron, you did not race with this last year. How did you decide to become a race car driver this year? I don't know. I just seemed like something would be interesting. <laughs> something <laughs> fun to try? Yeah. Um, tell me a little bit about your car. How did you choose those colors? My wife always liked car colors blue. Or blue even cars? Everything blue. So I said, okay, we'll get a two tone blue for her. Two tone? Yeah. It's a nice looking car. Um, what are you most excited for to race this year? What? What are you most excited for to, during the race? I just enjoy it because I see something that I've never done before. You know, it'd be interesting. Like I said, very interesting. Trying something new? Yep. Do you think you're overqualified for the position of a race car driver? No. No? No, they're all, they're better, a lot better. <laughs> They've got some skills, right? Yep. Um, what does your driving record look like? I've never had a ticket down in Indiana here. Never had a ticket in Indiana? Mm -mm. <laughs> Have you had a ticket anywhere else? Well, I'm from Michigan when I was a teenager, <laughs> racing cars. Oh, so you've been a race car driver for a while. Yeah, just, playing around, <laughs> just playing around there in the parking lot doing stuff in the wintertime. <laughs> but you like going fast then? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, how do you think you would evaluate success as a race car driver? Trying to get in the top 10 at least. You know, it's everybody, you can't get the Number one spot all the time, but yeah. at least get in the top 10. Have you ever been to the Indy 500? No. Never been? Nope. So no, I watched it on TV, you know, when we could. On Memorial Day, up in Michigan, you know, down here, too crowded. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there's a lot of people there. Yeah, really. What is it about um, being a race car driver that attracted you the most? Just to see what it feels like inside that car racing. And they're only about this high off the ground. <laughs> you got to bend down to get in the car, don't you? Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> so who else, What among the other drivers, who's giving you the most pressure? Who do you think is going to be your biggest competition on Saturday? I don't know. <laughs> I've never raced before. No. <laughs> Let me try, have a race. Then uh, next year we can ask that. Yeah, question. next year you might know a little bit better. Oh, yeah. So if you were to win the second annual New Pal 500, what would you do? How would you use your fame to impact others? Teach kids and everything go around the school, let them know what it's like. Yeah. And stuff like that, but stay out of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so they shouldn't go drive their cars in the parking lot after, after school? <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> Well, best of luck to you, Mr. Weber. We look forward to seeing you race this Saturday. Okay. Thank you. All right. What's your name? Marcella. And your car number? 23. And Miss Marcella, you qualified. And you will be starting in 12th. So you are in the first half of the fleet. That's a pretty good starting. Okay. And this is your second year racing in the New Pal 500. Mm -hmm. How do you think you're gonna do this year compared to last? <laughs> well, I, I don't remember where I qualified. I don't remember how it was last year, so I'm not sure how I can compare it but I know I didn't win. <laughs> so this year you're gonna try to win? I'll try to win. Yeah. Um, so why did you leave your previous job to become a race car driver? Well, it sounded like fun. It sounded like something fun to try? Yeah. How, how many years have you been driving now? 
As a race car driver? Well, two years as a race car driver. How many years on a, on a road? Oh, well, I didn't learn to drive until I had three children, so. Huh. How old were you when you learned to drive? Uh, let me see, probably 26. 26? Mm -hmm. So you got a late start in driving, but it doesn't scare you from racing. <laughs> um, what's some of the inspiration behind your design of your car? Well, I didn't design it. I mean, it's what they gave me to. You chose yeah. red and white? Oh, red and white, because red's my favorite color. Red's your favorite color, and white mm -hmm. just makes it pop, right? Yeah, make it show off. <laughs> <laughs> um, what does your driving record look like? Have you ever had a speeding ticket? No. But Never I, had a speeding ticket? Not that I recall. <laughs> um, I've had wrecks. Been in an accident? Mm-hmm. Not, not serious. Not a serious I've accident. Been in accidents, yeah. Um, what do you think is one of your greatest strengths, and how does that help you in racing? Well, when I start something, I usually try to finish it. So I'll stick with this as long as it lasts. Stick with it. <laughs> so we'll see you next year for the new Pell 500. <laughs> we'll see. Who do you think is your biggest competition this year? What driver is making you nervous? I have no idea because I, I guess it's all luck. It's a little There's, bit of luck. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I'll scale too, I'm sure. <laughs> And what are you most excited for on Saturday? The parade or the race? Oh, probably the parade. The parade? <laughs> and then maybe winning, right? Maybe winning. Yeah. So if you won the second annual New Pal 500, how would your life change? How would you deal with all the fame and notoriety? I don't know. I've never been in that spotlight before. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I, I would enjoy it, probably. <laughs> <laughs> well, Miss Marcella, I wish you the best of luck, and we will look forward to seeing you race this Saturday. Thank you. All right, ma'am, what's your name? Stella. And what's your car number? I don't really know. 245. Oh, 245. <laughs> and what's your um, driver name? Nikki Poo. Nikki Poo. And what's the, why did you choose Nikki Poo? Uh, really, I don't know. It just come to me. Yeah? It just come to me. So tell me about the design of your car. I have yellow and green. Uh, yellow is my favorite color, and I'm sort of kind of leaning towards green now that I'm a little older. You like John Deere? John Deere? Yeah, I like John Deere. <laughs> it's almost like a little garden tractor. <laughs> <laughs> it looks uh, good. Well, uh, I've never done this before, and a lady said she'd help me put it together, and she dumped it out and said, well, to paint it. And so I painted it, and she never did ever return. So I looked at the directions, and I start. Uh, putting the glue on and putting it together. And then the chef come in and said, hey, you're doing a pretty good job. So uh, he said, this goes here and that goes there. And so I just start putting it together and that's how I did that. And I bet you never thought you could do it. I didn't thought I could do it, but I, I put you that You sure did, together. didn't you? Yes, I did. And I'm proud of myself. Well, good. Um, this is your first year in the race, right? Yes, ma'am, it is. And so how did you decide to enter the race this year? Well, uh, Aaron come by, he 
works at Woodland Terrace and he come by and asked me if I'd be in the race and I didn't think I could, but then I said, yeah, I believe I will. Well, good. So I entered it. Um, Ms. Coffey, I do have to let you know that for qualifications, you qualified and you'll be starting in fourth position. Fourth position? Yes, ma'am. How's coming? You had a very good qualifying average. Well, thank the good Lord. <laughs> so you were, you're at a little bit of an advantage being able to start at the front of the pack. We'll see how you perform on Saturday. Um, why did you leave your previous job to start racing cars? Why did I leave my previous job? Well, I got older and I had to retire. So you came out of retirement to start racing cars? Well, I come out of retirement because <laughs> I was getting older and now I'm just like them racing cars. <laughs> <laughs> now you just like racing cars. Um, Miss Coffee, what does your driving record look like? My driving record was perfect until I got to race this man on the highway. <laughs> and I mean, it was perfect until I was up to 79 years old. And I got to race this man out on the highway. And then I got a ticket for driving 98 miles an hour in my little convertible mid the beachy. <laughs> when you were 79. When you I was driving. 79 years old, going to work, <laughs> and I got the ticket. For going, going 98. Yes. And I was <laughs> 79 years old, first ticket I ever got. Outside of that, my driving record was perfect. <laughs> well, you made it worth it. <laughs> Waited 79 years to get a speeding ticket. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Miss Stellar, other than racing, what are some of your hobbies? What was some of my hobbies? Oh, I went skating and I finally learned how to dance on skates. I could do all kinds of dancing on roller skates. And I love to go camping. They was my two favorites. Skating and camping. Mm -hmm. Well, Miss Seller, if you win the race this Saturday, the second annual New Pal 500, what would you do with your fame and notoriety? How would you use your presence to impact others? My fame, I would be very happy and I would With my fame, I would uh, tell everybody thank you, and uh, especially my activities directors for uh, letting me use their uh, facility to paint my little car. Well, we are looking very much forward to seeing how you end up in the race on Saturday. Hopefully, I might win, but if I don't, I don't. And it's fun, right? Yes, yes, <laughs> it'll be fun. It'll be fun seeing my little car go around yeah. the racetrack. <laughs> well, we look forward to it, and we will see you on Saturday. Thank you very much, and God bless.